어, 아이스 커피. 맛있어. <목소리> 안녕하세요. 깽돌입니다. <목소리> 자, so what I want to talk today is why I got into YouTube and what I'm about. 자 일단은 제 소개를 조금 해드릴게요. So I actually have a background as a 3D artist slash designer and as a side as a side life, I'm also a dancer. So I got into this front end development, web development, coding field ever since the COVID started. I was thinking over and over and over again, and also had a serious talk with my family. What are you gonna do for the future? Like, how are you gonna be financially independent? Having a conversation with the family, they actually mentioned about coding, programming, and I had an experience taking a Python class before when I was at my college. Yeah, I'm not gonna take or do any programming whatsoever in my life. Good. Charte. No. Since it's COVID, and why don't I just spend my time getting new skills? Programming, eh? I guess, good, I guess it's a good skill. The first language that I actually self-study through Code Academy, I started learning, learning Python. So I looked at all the results that I've been getting on the screen, and I was like, 뭐야, 그냥 하다 보니까 이게 나오네? 그냥 결과가 조금 나오네? 오, interesting. So that was a point when I had my momentum sort of built up. Interesting enough, uh, every day I was having all these ideas on what I want to build, what sort of projects I want to try. 그래가지고 이제 유튜브로도 혼자 독학하고 Code Academy에서도 계속 독학하다가 I found this YouTube channel called Clever Programmer. They were doing a lot of front-end and back-end web development based. They use HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and even like different libraries, React.js, you know, React Native, Firebase as a backend, Node.js. So I just got into this field, so why not get more knowledge, right? So that's when I really decided to dive in more into JavaScript. But I actually kind of realized you can actually get creative with the web or make an application, all the sorts. So as I got deeper into JavaScript, that's when I kind of realized you have to know how to get an API, how to sort data, and you know, long story short, it kind of got more scientific, which I wasn't a big, 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 big fan of science at all. But in order to be a front-end developer, I, I realized that, you know, that's something that I have to go through. Some, some sort of barrier that I kind of have to tumble over in order for me to improve things and get better as a developer. So I was like, you know what? Let's just get deeper. Let's learn. I, yeah, I want to be better. I want a better life per se be more successful as a developer. So I took my time knowing how to really utilize and how I can get creative with all those data and still sort of beginner stage of how to apply those different ideas and functions and whatnot. But it really strived me through to really learn more and you know try to apply in different scenarios like getting movies or making a list of things or you name it. So through coding, not only did I increase my skill sets on learning how to logically think, problem solve, apply the basics, but my depth of how much I'm having fun with developing, the level grew up so high, and that's when I realized, yep, that's my next dream. I want to be a nope. a front-end developer. 자 그래서 이제 유튜브로 코딩 여행기 하고 또 이제 계속 디자인도 하고 춤과 건강에 대해서 더 비디오로 올릴 예정입니다. Hope you enjoyed this video. 이 영상 재밌게 보셨으면은 좋아요와 구독 또 아니면 뭐 부족한 점이 있었으면은 저 댓글에다도 남겨주시고요. Yeah. 오늘 하루 재밌게 보내시고 I'll see you soon next time.